AACR President Tyler Jacks is the director of the David H. Koch Institute for Integrative Cancer Research at MIT. He's also the David H. Koch Professor of Biology and an investigator with the Howard Hughes Medical Institute. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. We're gearing up for the 101st annual meeting. What will it be like this year? Uh, it's going to be very exciting. Uh, we've worked very hard over the past year to put together an exciting program which has uh, highlights from across the field. Um, we expect a very large audience and uh, we expect the announcement of some very important new information related to cancer in many respects. So I'm, I'm very excited to be there. Frank McCormick, the program chair and his committee have worked extremely hard over the course of the year to put together what I think is going to be an extremely powerful and um, exciting program. In looking at the programs from past, we've recognized that the meeting has grown substantially, uh, both in terms of the number of attendees, but also the number of program elements, to the point where it's actually become um, almost overwhelming. And so in recognition of that, um, we've tried to simplify the program, reduce the number of symposia, reduce the number of overlapping sessions, and we've introduced a, an, a new uh, twist this year by uh, holding plenary sessions each morning on major topics in the field. And in that way, we will bring all of the attendees together at one point on each day of the meeting um, to gather and reflect upon these important areas and then disperse uh, from that point out into the meeting. I think in looking at the program, what I'm, what I'm excited about is the breadth of topics that are being covered. I think we've captured both some traditional and still very important aspects of the field, as well as some new and uh, breaking topics. Um, some very familiar cancer genes and pathways that we've been studying for some time, like RAS and P53, and some new areas like non-coding RNAs and nanotechnology and systems biology, which are just emerging as very important new directions in the field. And so how has your year been as president? Uh, it's been a fun-filled year as president. Uh, it's actually been a, a great pleasure to serve as the president of this organization. Um, the AACR is a very important organization in cancer research in the United States and throughout the world, and it's really been an honor to serve as the president. I've enjoyed um, getting to know the organization from the inside out, to work closely with Marge Foti and the tremendously dedicated staff of the AACR who do so much for the field, so I've enjoyed it tremendously. Could you expound a little bit on how you feel the AACR is impacting the field? Well, the AACR impacts the field of cancer research in so many ways, um, and I've grown to appreciate all of those ways even more deeply over the past year. The fact is that through its publications, um, the AACR publishes a tremendous amount of very important information about cancer each year. We also convene cancer researchers in small group settings, small meetings, intermediate sized meetings, and the large annual meeting over the course of the year. Literally thousands of cancer researchers come together um, through the efforts of the AACR to talk about the latest developments and new trends in cancer research. But also the AACR works closely with many other organizations around the country and around the world. And again, I've become more aware of those interactions through the course of my presidency. And this, too, has a great impact. I think the AACR is viewed as a trusted broker in the area of cancer research, uh, to which other foundations, other funding agencies, advocates, and others concerned about cancer research can come and interact and expand their reach even further. And what is your vision for the future of cancer research? Well, I'm excited uh, about the future of cancer research and the impact that cancer researchers will have um, on our ability to control this disease in the fairly near term. Um, we've gone through a century of annual meetings, and we're entering the next century of annual meetings. We can think of this, in a sense, as a, as a transition point um, for the field. What will the next decades look like? And I actually believe that the generation of cancer researchers that are emerging, the young people who are attending the annual meeting this year, will in fact see our ability to control this disease um, come to fruition. That doesn't mean we will cure all cancers, but we will control major cancers to the point where individuals who are diagnosed with late stage lung cancer or pancreas cancer or other very devastating diseases, glioblastoma, um, will have much longer 
uh, survival times, and in some cases will be cured of their diseases. Using new approaches, translational discoveries in cancer research and cancer medicine, new technologies, these will be brought together by this emerging generation to allow us finally to take control of this disease.